Today we're going to add radicals and I'm going to start at the standpoint of of you having already watched the video on simplifying radicals because in order to add radicals you have to be able to simplify radicals. So please watch that video before you watch this one. Okay. This is a radical symbol. Okay. And the and anything that's inside is called a radicand. In order for you to be able to add radicals you have to have the same radicand okay well let me give you an example of that so if I had radical um, X plus radical X I can add these two radicals because the radicands are the same however if I had X plus Y I could not add these two radicals because the radicals, the radicands was not the same. Okay? And sometimes you have to do some work before you actually add the radicals. You have to put them in simplest form. So our first problem is going to be radical 3 plus radical 3. First thing you want to do is make sure that your radicals are in simplest form. Okay? You can't get any simple, simpler than radical 3 and this radical 3. They're already in their simplest form. Now, once you determine once you find out they're in their simplest form, then you look at your radicands, and if they're the same, you can add them. If not, it's already in simplest form. For instance, this radicand is 3 and this radicand is 3. Since these radicands are the same, then I can add these then I can add these two these two radicals, okay? So there's an imaginary one here and a one there. It's like having an x. It's like when we have an x, we know there's a one right there, but we don't have to write one x. So there's a one radical 3 here plus one radical three. Um, if, if you're having a difficult time seeing this, then think of this as as being x's. You have one x plus one x. Well, if you have one x plus one x, that gives us two x's. Well, since I have one radical three plus one radical three, that then I have two radical threes. Okay. If I if I gave you radical 5 plus radical 5 then I have 1 radical 5 plus 1 radical 5 will give me 2 radical 5s If I had radical 3 plus radical 5 plus radical 5 plus radical 3 then I can only add these two radicals and these two radicals okay so I have one radical 3 plus one radical 3 that leaves me with two radical 3's and I have one radical five plus one radical five that leaves me with with two radical fives okay well let's let's um, increase it now what if I had um, four radical threes 
plus two radical threes. Remember I said you want to make sure that your radicals are in simplest form. I have a radical three here and a radical three here. They're in simplest form. So now I want to check my radicands to make sure they're the same. My radicand is three here. My radicand is three here. So I can add these two. I have four radical threes plus two radical threes. That leaves me with five radical threes. That's just like saying I have four apples plus two apples, which means I have five apples. Okay. If I had six radical five plus seven radical three, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your radicands are simplified. I have a radical five, that's as simple as it can get. I have a radical three, that is as simple as it can get. Now I want to check to make sure my radical my radicands are the same. I have my radicand of five and a radicand of three. Since these two radicands are not the same, then it's not it's already it's already simplified. Can't do anything else to it. This is my answer. Okay. All right. Well, what if I had radical 18 plus radical 8? Remember I told you the first thing you want to do is make sure that your radicals are simplified. Well, I know that, that I can simplify 18 because 18, I can break 18 down in, using a factor tree. I can also break eight, 8 down into a factor tree. Let's do that. So, over here on the side, over here on the side, I'm going to um, simplify radical 18. If you remember in the other video, I said make a factor tree for 18. That's going to be 6 and 3, and then 2 and 3. Underneath your radical symbol, you have 2, 3, and 2. I'm sorry, 2, 3, and 3. The threes, they come together to make a perfect square of 3 times 3 is 9. And I know 9 is a perfect square of 3. And the 2 goes inside. So, instead of writing radical 18, I can write 3 radical 2. Okay? Right now, my, two, my radicands are 2 and 8. Let me see if I can break this 8 down. I have radical 8. I have radical 8. I'm going to make a factor tree for 8. That's 4 and 2. And 2 and 2. So that's radical 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to circle, get my two pairs. I know that 2 times 2 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2. On the outside, the radical 2 goes on the outside. Just like the radical 9 went on the outside of 3. The radical of 4 is 2, so I'm going to put that on the outside, and 2 goes inside. So I can write, instead of writing radical 8, I can write 2 radical 2 and bring down my plus sign. Well, now that I look at my problem, now that I've simplified my radicals, I can now see that my radicand over here is 2, and my radicand over here is 2. So since I have three radical twos plus two radical twos, that leaves me with five radical twos. Okay. Uh, remember in the beginning I said sometimes you have to simplify your radicals before you actually be able to add your radicals. Okay. Let's work another one. 
radical 90 plus radical 40. If you would like to give this one a try before I solve it, uh, please do so. Just pause your video. Okay, so we have radical 90 plus radical 40. So I'm going to try to simplify this radical 90. So I'm going to make a factor tree for 90 over here. Oh, that's going to be 10 and 9, 2 and 5. Those are both prime numbers, and this is 3 and 3. Again, if you have not watched the simplifying radicals video, please do so. Okay, so underneath my radical, I'm going to have 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. The 3 times 3 is 9. Radical, the square root of 9 is 3. So I'm going to put that on the outside. My 2 and my 5, they stay inside. So that's going to leave me with 3 radical 10. So I have 3 radical 10. Now I'm going to simplify radical 40, make my factor tree, so underneath my radical I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. I know that 2 times 2 is 4, radical 4 is 2. I'm going to put that on the outside and, it's, and the 2 and 5 stays inside. That's going to be with 2 radical 10. Alright, so up here I'm going to write 2 radical 10. So now, now that I have the same radicands, my radicand is 10 here, my radicand is 10 here, I'm going to add my radicals. 3 radical 10's plus 2 radical 10's leaves me with 5 radical 10's. And here's my final answer. Okay, let's work one more. Uh, let's do radical 45 and plus radical 12. Okay, I'm going to try to simplify my radical 45 and my radical 12. So my radical 45, um, I'm going to make a factor tree for 45. So underneath my radical, I'm going to have 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. 3 times 3 is 9. Radical 9 is 3. That That's going to go outside the radical. My 3 stays in. So I have 3 radical 3. Plus. Now let me simplify my radical 12. Make a factor tree. Two, two, and three. So underneath, I'm going to write two, two, and three. Two times two is four. Radical four is two. Put that outside, and three goes inside. So radical twelve. Another way of writing radical twelve is two radical three. Okay. Well, I made a mistake here. That should be a 5. That should be a 5. Sorry about that. Let me go back up here and do this factor tree again. That's radical. That's 45 is going to be 9 times 5. 5. And so underneath your radical, you're going to have 3, 3, and 5. So that's going to be 3, 3, and 5. 3 goes outside. 5 stays inside. Let me change this one. Okay. So I have... Um, 2 2 times 2 times 3 
that's going to give me 12 will give me 4 and 3 and 4 will give me 2 and 2 so I have 2 2 and 3 here okay so I'm going to pull out my 2 here because radical 4 is 2 my 3 stays in so if you notice I end up with 3 radical 5 plus 2 radical 3 okay so um, now that um, now that I've simplified my radicals I'm going to find out that my radicands are not the same I have a radicand of 5 and a radicand of 3 since my radicands are not the same then I know that this is my final answer okay and this was an excellent demonstration on on why you want to show your work um, because I was able to look at my work and I said hey there was something you know I looked up there and I said five times nine times five is forty five not nine times three so this is this was a great example of why you want to show your work and not try to do this in this in your head um, like a lot of students try to do because you can make a, make a mistake and if I would have made a mistake here then I would I would have added both of them and re not realized that I had different radicands alright well that's it for today um, if you have any any comments for future videos please visit mathwithmoon.org that's mathwithmoon.org and leave your comments and suggestions for future videos and I will see you next time bye